My name is Evan Childs. I am the owner and operator at Evan Childs Fitness, go figure. I started my company about I think, three years ago now. Started doing online meal and workout plans, uh, just pretty pretty simple stuff, and that kind of was a spinoff of personal training. Got into the online world and found out that the demographic was just bigger and there was a lot of women just hungry for something more. So I started doing some online programming. And then once I started doing that for a year, maybe a year and a half, I realized that it wasn't really feeding me. I didn't even know that I wanted to be a coach before I was a coach because I found me wanting more out of the women. Um, a lot of the women who would order plants for me would kind of just check in maybe once or twice and it was more of like a a la carte take and go kind of thing and I wanted something deeper and I wanted something real. I wanted to touch people's lives so that's when I started the Alpha Female program that is dedicated to women who want to be better in all aspects of their life, uh, physically, mentally, spiritually, emotionally, all the above, just a better version of themselves so that's where I'm at right now. I'm on the 13th class of Alpha Female so super, super blessed. The Alpha Female program is 12 weeks split up into four different fitness phases so we switch um, phases every three weeks and every three weeks these girls will send in a detailed this is where I'm at, this is what my macro are right now this is how I'm feeling kind of thing and we switch it up based on what they're feeling and how their results are throughout the program my favorite part of it and you would think that my favorite part of it would be the fitness aspect and giving them new workouts and that's exciting and seeing the results from that but to be honest I really 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 love the fact that I get to challenge these girls mentally their mental toughness I get to teach them about leadership self-confidence self-worth work ethic and I feel like that's a lot of things that coaches lack especially in the online coaching industry it's more like here's your workout you know have fun go do your thing whatever I'm just gonna take your money but I just really want to impact these girls on another level and it seems to work very very well and I'm very proud of what I've done so far in these women's lives and, and, and very proud of the women that I've gone through the program. So I left South Carolina in 2013, I believe. I grew up in South Carolina, I went to school in South Carolina, and I just felt like something was telling me to leave, like get out of my comfort zone and like do my own thing, like just go make make your life. Ended up being one of the best decisions of my life just because it kind of made me flourish, it kind of made me work. So I moved down to Florida to be a head personal trainer at this gym in Tampa, Florida. I was there for about almost two years I think and that's kind of when the online business started I um, started expanding and I just, through all that time through that two years of at that gym personal training and doing classes and stuff with people is when I was doing some online stuff on the side and then I started the alpha female program which started with like 15 applications at first and then it, it literally doubled in size every single class this past class was over 500 applications which was 13 so long story short, that, that gym closed down and it just happened to close down at a perfect time because I was ready to branch out on my own and kind of expand this online business niche that I had found that I didn't even know like was the thing. Like when people would say, you know, what do you do? I'd be like, well, I'm a trainer. Oh, you're a personal trainer. Well, yeah, but I do it online. Oh, so you do videos? No. Like, oh, so you like you you like sell DVDs? I'm like, no, that's not it either. I kind of just talk to women through the internet and tell them, you know, how what they need to do and how they need to eat, kind of thing. And it's really really confusing if you don't if you haven't gone through it. But it, it works for people because I feel like today is the today's world is just so convenient um, and people just want what what they want, take it, leave, whatever, a la carte kind of thing. Um, and I kind of catch them in that a la carte stage and kind of grab them and say, this is what you need to do. And I get them get them to hang on to me and, and stay with the training thing, so. One day, I, I'm like a big hat fiend, right? Like I wear hats all the time. Um, and I kind of got, I didn't get over it, but I was wearing my hair like low, like it was all on my neck and I would wear a hat every day to work out just because it felt comfortable and it would keep the hair out of my face. And then I was like, you know what? I, I just want to change something up. Maybe I should try a headband or something. And I was like, what kind of headband would I wear that I like? I'm super picky. So I was like, I kind of like the ones that CrossFitters wear, you know, tight to their head. They can tie or just throw them on. They're tight, tight to my head. So I literally Googled, <laughs> I think I Googled like CrossFit headbands or something like that. or like tight headbands or something and junk was one of the ones that popped up and like Reebok and stuff like that but junk caught my eye just because of the the all the different designs and like patterns and stuff so right then I, I think it was like we looked at the order last time we I had ordered it like 2 a.m. and I'd ordered like three or four bands and I got them in and I started wearing them I started tagging them in some photos and I think Bo reached out and said hey I appreciate you, you tagging us in some photos would it be cool if we sent you a couple more to wear around and I'm like heck yeah you know I would have bought them anyway so I was like for sure so anyway he sent them to me and it kind of just 
you know, I said, I think that I can help you with these because I have a lot of girls asking where am I getting them from, whatever. I think I, I can help you expand your brand because I have a lot of clients and you know, my networking on social media is just a, a ton of girls. So I was like, let me help you. So we kind of struck up a deal like I'll help you, you help me kind of thing. And it, it's worked out in both of our best interests. It's one of my, it's one of my, if not my favorite um, sponsor just because it's so organic. Like I, I loved the brand before he approached me. Um, this works for both of us. So I love, I love the headbands. I love everybody behind the, the company. I think it's a super, super tight-knit family and, and I don't know, I just I just feel connected to it in some way. So